Hey guys, welcome back to my channel! Today's video is gonna be a makeup tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to do this beautiful spring look. I feel like pink, oranges, and fuchsias are gonna be it for spring, at least for me. I love the diffused monochromatic look between the eyes and the cheeks and the lips. And with that, it's important that we have that really nice effortless skin that looks like it's flush from within, very glowy, still covering those imperfections if we want to, okay? With that said, Said, I've teamed up with Revlon for this video and I will be using their new photo ready candid foundation I think you guys are really gonna like it because it does have that am I wearing foundation feeling so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial the first thing I'm gonna do is start off with my base I know I usually go with the eyes and then the base but I'm gonna do things a little differently today so I'm gonna be using the Revlon photo ready candid foundation in the shade 430 honey beige this foundation comes in 31 shades I took about like two and a half pumps of this. I'm so happy that everyone's adding a pump to foundations because it's just so much easier for all of us and more sanitary. It's infused with anti-pollutants, antioxidants, and it is a medium to buildable coverage so you can keep adding and it has a nice natural skin-like finish. All right, so I'm just gonna use my beauty blender and apply the foundation. I feel like this color is actually perfect for my skin tone. I mean, as perfect as it can be. I'm a little bit more of a green undertone. It has almost like a creamy moisturizer-like consistence when you put it on. It's very light and it just kind of blends into the skin so you don't really feel it. Like it doesn't feel like you're wearing a thick foundation. Sometimes when I'm wearing hoops, I forget to get this part of my jaw because the hoop will be there. I gotta lift it up. I will say when I wear this throughout the day, my skin's looking healthy, okay? Glowy and healthy. Mm. Mm. Everyone asks where that mirror is from. This one, this is a Ricky Ricky mirror. R-I-K-I, R-I-K-I. -I, -I. I think I've pounded this into literally nothing. It just blended into skin now. Perfection. I am a serious fan of this foundation, okay? I'm telling you, it's good. All right, we're gonna bounce around now. We're going into the eyes. Can we get a little zoomy zoom? A little meow. Being zoomed in, you could really see how healthy and pretty this foundation looks. And it really does just look like skin. I kid you guys not, like, it's so nice. We are gonna jump into the eyes. I want a really beautiful, diffused, juicy peach, Spring, mm, juicy makeup look. So I'm actually gonna dip into NARS Wanted 2 palette. This is actually a cheek palette. So if you have a peachy blush nearby, that's something that you could pick up. It's like a corally color. I'm going to apply this into my crease as my transition shade. The goal is to make this eye look juicy and fresh, just like the skin. That's like the whole look that we're going for. Oh, this is actually like the perfect blush color for this. I kind of ate a chili lollipop in between steps, so. Meep. So next I'm gonna be taking a bright orange eyeshadow. This is in the crease, that's the shade name, and it's from Morphe. I'm gonna pick that up on my Smith 247 brush. And we're gonna start applying this on the outer V first. This is why I haven't done my concealer yet because then after I could clean this all up with concealer. And I'm just swirling this shade into the outer crease and pulling it out and really diffusing it. I want a very diffused look, almost like it disappears into the skin. I don't want it to be like a really strong crease color. And I'm gonna take a flat brush with that same orange color and bring it down onto the lid as well. And when I place the color down, I'm focusing the most pigmented part on the lash line and then slowly tapping upwards so that it fades into nothing. Back into my Smith brush and again, feathering it. You notice all my motions are going this way, like I'm pulling out towards my temple very, very lightly. Now I'm gonna take a gold highlight. This is Max Spring Bling, and there's literally just like a little gold sheen down here that I'm gonna dip my brush into. Just hit the high points of my brow bone and feather that all out. I'm also gonna apply it right in here and right in here as well, this inner tear duct. 
So now I wanna define and lift this outer corner just a little bit. So I'm gonna be dipping into just any dark brown eyeshadow that you have. I'll be using this one right here. And I'm gonna press that into the lash line in the outer corners of my eyes. Look right here. I'm gonna pop on some lashes. These are the Lily Lashes in the style of Makeup by Samuel. I've been having difficulty putting on strip lashes lately, so I hope that I don't have that problem right now. So now I'm just applying a little bit of the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer. This is in the shade Medium Deep. We're gonna clean all this up that we did over here down the sides of the nose and on the side here as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. Always, once I use the concealer along the eyeshadow, it looks so clean and pretty and like diffused. I'm also gonna take the same concealer and do the little tree on my forehead and run it down the center of my nose to get a little highlight. Give myself a little button nose, a highlight the cupid's bow and a little on the chin here. Boom. Taking my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that out. I love how like creamy and healthy all the skin is looking. I'm just diffusing the edges here with a clean blending brush. Now I'm going into the lower lash line and I'm gonna pick up this orange shade and I'm gonna run that and connect it to this top part of the eye. For the waterline, I'm gonna be using Urban Decay Torch to keep with that fiery. Okay, now I'm gonna apply a little bit of the lower lash mascara, you guys already know, extended play. I'm just gonna do this off camera because you guys already know I have to be super close to get my lashes. Now I'll be using the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Setting Powder. This is the loose setting powder. I like the shade 002. I'm gonna actually apply a tiny bit of that with a brush under the eyes because I wanna keep the skin pretty dewy. Like I said, we're thinking juicy. Always love to put powder right, just right here on the cheeks. And then I'm also gonna make sure that I apply some right in the center of the forehead here. And to bronze the skin, I'm actually gonna be using Earth One and it's from Iman. I'm just taking a little bit of that and bronzing the perimeter of my face using this large It Cosmetics powder brush. So I always start up here with the hairline, slowly starting to build the bronze here. Circular motions. Do you guys see how I'm like already getting nice and teon? And then maybe even like across the nose, like why not? I'm just gonna kind of bring it under the, the chin and down the neck, of course. I always have so much bronzer in my hairline after I shower, like I think I have all my makeup off and then I go like this with a towel and I'm like, whoa. So I'm gonna try to tie in the same blush that we had used into the crease and I'm just gonna use the same powder brush Really just gonna look so juicy. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Across the nose, I love that look. For highlight, I'm gonna go into Dose of Colors Chasing the Sun. Just add a little to the skin here. Down the center. Also gonna take a little bit of that in the inner corner here. Boom. Bam. Lastly, it's time for the lips. I'm gonna be using Sexy Sienna by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna start patting it first because I don't know how pigmented I want this color yet. I still have to line my lips a little bit, but I think with the right lip liner, this is gonna be nice. I just have to figure out what lip liner it is because I don't want it to be weird, orange and like too pinky. I want something a little bit more orangey. Going into Sigma's Heartbeat lip liner. So what I'm gonna do is take this lip liner and like kind of fade it into the lip color itself. Leave the center without the lip liner so that your lips look bigger and it has more dimension. And then I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics color in Lovey Dovey. And I'll put it in the center. 
All right, so I just finished off the lip. I love how it looks with the eyes. I think these colors pair so nicely together, especially for spring. And I especially love the way the skin turned out. It has that really hydrated, creamy, skin-like look with the highlight and the pink blush and the foundation. All worked so perfectly together. So I'm really happy with this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget, since you're already here, why don't you give me like a little thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. That is not what I was trying to do. Pretty day. It looks good. <laughs> Ever? Don't look at me like that. Ah! Or get out. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but for real.